Okay, Assalamualaikum, Salam Sejahtera Today, uh, we continue our lesson for examination exercises form 1 Okay, we have done for topic 1 uh, Topic 2 Topic 2 will be done later after uh, we learn about the grammar and then topic 3 and then topic 4 uh, short answer and now we will learn about the topic 5 matching gapped text okay so let's look to your uh, google form uh, for the question 35 okay soalan 35 it's about a new topic okay the new uh, form of questions for your examination exercises that is matching gapped text so let's uh, read together worksheet one. So you are going to read an article about Leonardo da Vinci. Six sentences have been removed from the article. Choose from the sentences A to H to fit each gap. One to six. There are two extra sentences which you do not need. Uh, you do not need need to use. For each question, mark the correct answer A to H. Jadi dalam soalan ini. Anda perlu isikan ruangan-ruangan kosong dengan jawapan yang telah diberikan A sehingga H yang berada di bawah ini. Okey, A sehingga H. Tetapi dalam A hingga H itu ada dua jawapan yang tidak perlu digunakan. Okey, hanya sebagai dummy sahajalah. Dan anda perlu lengkapkan pada kotak-kotak kosong ini okey dengan abjad yang bersesuaian dengan uh, tulisan ataupun pernyataan di bawah ni A sehingga H. Jom. Contohnya, nombor satu kita lihat nanti. Okay. So, let's uh, read the article here. A man of many talents. Mona Lisa. When people around the world see portrait of Mona Lisa, the name uh, of the artist behind it is immediately comes to my mind. Leonardo da Vinci. So, Leonardo da Vinci is undoubtedly one of the greatest minds in the history of mankind. He was man with many talents, arts, music, mathematics, engineering, medicine, invention, architecture, and many more. Jadi, for number one, which uh, statement that uh, suitable to be matched uh, after the sentences in the paragraph two? Okay, melihat kepada penyataan ini, Leonardo Vinci ini ada seorang yang mahir dalam bidang seni, music, matematik dan sebagainya. So, what are the best sentence followed the uh, paragraph? A. It's really amazing how Leonardo could manage all this. Okay. B. It, he soon apprenticed him to a studio. Ini tak dikaitan dengan tu. Okay. A mungkin. Sebab apa? Dia menunjukkan bahawa uh, Leonardo ini boleh menguruskan semua bidang-bidang uh, uh, kemahiran tersebut music, art, matematik dan sebagainya C. The Mona Lisa is his best known piece ok kita belum cerita lagi tentang hasil-hasil uh, karya dia jadi tak sesuai Leonardo spent most of his time painting, drawing and sculpturing It's only he only spent 3 years in France as a young boy Leonardo travelled to many places in Italy his uncle had a love of nature and he was raised by his father, Sir Piero and several stepmothers. Jadi, pernyataan atau statement yang paling sesuai di sini ialah A. So, it's really amazing how Leonardo could manage all this. All this ini merujuk kepada semua kemahiran yang ada. Arts, mathematics, uh, engineering, medicine, invention, architecture and many more. So, you should answer number one is A. So, just write down your answer here number one A so you can answer here number one the answer is A okay that's all so go for the number two okay read the question again 
Leonardo is the best known for the painting of Mona Lisa and Last Supper. Okay, number two is a uh, gap text. Okay. Some historian argue that it is his greatest artist achievement. Today, this is this very painting hangs behind bulletproof glass in the Louvre Museum in Paris. His painting, The Last Supper, The Last Supper, sorry, which he worked uh, on from nine, uh, 1492 to 1498, was painted on the wall of the dining room of monastery in Milan. Okay, so what's the suitable or the uh, the suitable sentences sentence for number two? Leonardo is best known for the painting of Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. Okay, A has been used for number one. B, he soon apprenticed him to a studio. Sesuai atau tidak? Because after that, some historian argue that it is his greatest art, uh, artistic achievement. So, dalam paragraph ini, dia berceritakan tentang hasil-hasil karya Uh, Leonardo da Vinci. So, it's not uh, good enough for the uh, number two. We look to the uh, statement C. The Mona Lisa is his best known piece. Okay. Ha, ini nampak dia ada kaitan. Kerana dia ada sebut tadi The Painting of Mona Lisa. So, C. The Mona Lisa is his best known piece. So, the answer for number two is B. So, you just write down number 2, P. Okay, let's look to number 3. Born on April 15, 1452, in Vinci, Italy, Leonardo was the son of the prominent lawyer and his father and his father's peasant girl. He was born out of wet law. Okay, uh, there is a gap text there for number 3. And then followed by his early years were spent living on his father's family estate in Vinci. Okay, dalam paragraph ini dia menceritakan tentang uh, sejarah data belakang dia, kehidupan dia. Bila dilahirkan, di mana dia duduk, dengan siapa dia tinggal dan sebagainya. So, let's look to the quick statement uh, at the bottom. A has been used. B, he soon apprenticed him to a studio. Tak ada kaitan. C dah digunakan D Leonardo spend most of his time painting drawing and sculpturing okey tak ada kaitan dengan latar belakang dia he only as sorry e he only spend 3 years in france okey mungkin tapi tak disebutkan di manakah uh, kita lihat nanti ya F as a young boy Leonardo travel to many places in Italy. Okay. Masih lagi belum ada kaitan. His uncle, G, his uncle had a love of nature. Okay. Age, he was raised by his father, Sapiro, and several stepmothers. Okay. Kita nampak age ada lebih uh, mempunyai kaitan yang lebih rapat dengan paragraph Three. Okay, kerana dia menceritakan tentang latar belakang Leonardo So, I think H is the best answer for number three He was raised by his father, Sir Piero and several stepmothers and Then followed by his early years was spent living on his father's family estate in Vinci Okay, dia menceritakan tentang ayah dia Jadi, the best uh, answer for number three is H So just write down number three ish. So we go for number four. During this period of his life, he was also influenced by his uncle. Asyik kan kita bercerita pasal uncle dia pula. Okay, number four is gap text. It can be said that his uncle had an immense influence over him, where his artistic and creative talent were concerned. Okay, bercerita tentang uncle dia. So, di sini ada satu jawapan, uh, statement berkaitan tentang uncle dia, G. His uncle had a love of nature. So, number four should be G. So, just write down your question, number four, G. 
It looks for number five. As a boy, Leonardo was apparently an avid artist. His father, Sapiero, must have recognized his talent. It gave a text, followed by, hence, Leonardo worked as an apprentice to the sculptor and painter, Andre del Virocchio in Florence. In 1478, he became an independent master. Okay. Jadi ini berceritakan tentang uh, masih lagi tentang ayah dia dan kemudian Leonardo telah pun uh, sebagai sculpture, okay, tukar ukir dan juga pelukis kepada Andrea del Verrocchio in Florence. Okay, dia bercerita tentang dua orang ayah dia dan kemudian dia pindah sebagai apprentice kepada Andrea. So a has been used. B, it soon apprenticed him to a studio. Okay. So, ini bercerita tentang apprentice. Perantis lah. Okay. Dia bekerja di bawah seseorang. Jadi, the the best answer should be uh, B. He soon apprenticed him to a studio. So, the answer for 5 is B. Okay. Number 6. Leonardo left Italy in 1516 uh, for France. The French ruler, ruler offered him the chance to paint and draw at his own pace. Okay, get a text for number six. He died there on 2nd of May 1519. Okay, dia bercerita tentang his own pace. Apakah yang uh, penyataan ataupun statement sesuai di sini? A has been used, B has been used, C has been used. Uh, D. Leonardo spent most of his time painting, drawing and sculpturing. E. He only spent three years in France. Okay. Di sini, uh, the last paragraph mentioned about the French. Okay. French, uh, then he uh, moved to friends. Jadi, uh, statement di sini dia untuk E ni, he only spent three years in friends. Okay, dia bercerita tentang Perancis. Jadi, sesuai lah kita menggunakan uh, statement E ni. E. So, the answer is E. He only spent three years in friends and then followed by he died there in 2nd of May 1519. So, that's the, um, the, the way how you can answer uh, this form of questions that is gapert text so we just use a b h g b and e okay we, uh, we have two statement that is a, a dummy statements hanya untuk tambahkan so anda tidak perlu gunakan uh, penyataan tersebut we don't use uh, c okay we don't use d okay Itu adalah statement yang hanya ditambah di dalam uh, soalan ini. Question for the next uh, question. Question uh, 37. The worksheet for worksheet 3. So, the instruction is similar to the uh, previous exercises. Previous uh, question. So, I don't I don't want to read the, the instruction. You can read by your own. So we look to the article there, my earthquake story. That night, I woke, uh, I woke up suddenly. I shouted to my elder sister above me, stop shaking, uh, stop shaking the bed, would you? Okay, pada ketika itu, uh, katil bergoyang. Dan dia minta adik dia, uh, kakak dia supaya berhenti menggoncangkan katil. In the meantime, she was saying, it's not me. It's you. Okay, bukan saya. Awak yang menggoncangkan kata tersebut. So, number one. What's the best uh, sentence for number one? She was carrying our little brother in her arms. Little brother John was wailing as if in fear. Mom told us to get under the door frame. By then, I was sitting, uh, sitting up thinking what's happening. Okay, tiba-tiba ada mom dia datang kat sini. So, 
the best sentence uh, for number one we can find out the best sentence below a we were shocked we were shocked to see the damage done by the earthquake pada ketika itu mereka belum tahu lagi itu adalah earthquake okay so it's not suitable for number one b seconds later mom rush into our room with a very worried face uh, okay mak dia masuk tiba-tiba ke dalam bilik so the answer should be b number one is b okay Second later, mom rushed into our room with a very worried face. She was carrying our little brother in her arms. Little brother was wailing as in fear. Mom told us to get under the door. Okay. So the uh, next paragraph. The noise was deafening as the timber of the walls swayed and cracked. Photo frames could be heard crashing and smashing to the floor. Okay. Ini menceritakan tentang dinding yang bergoyang dan uh, retak kemudian Bingkai gambar jatuh ke atas lantai So Number 2 The best sentence for number 2 should be uh, We were shocked We were shocked to see the damage done by the quake Okay, mereka masih belum tahu lagi Itu adalah gempa bumi So it's not suitable Second letter B has been used C Then I realized that uh, What was going on was and earthquake Okay, mereka masih belum sedar lagi itu adalah gempa bumi for number 2 D smash glass splattered all over the carpet all over the carpet Okay, in this uh, paragraph it doesn't mention about the carpet tak ada carpet kat sini cuma floor sahaja so tak sesuai E indeed it was very scary experience pun tidak sesuai uh, F everything was uh, chaotic Chaotic ni maksudnya huru hara lah And we do not know what to do Okay Okay boleh digunakan Untuk uh, quiz, uh, For number 2 Okay everything was uh, chaotic Huru hara and we do not know what to do They were all over the floor Okay They They refer to the Sister Okay uh, Mother their mom and their little brother so in this paragraph we mention about the the photo frames the walls so it's not suitable for number two so the best answer for number two should be f everything was uh, chaotic chaotic and we did not know what to do okay uh, the fourth paragraph curiously my sister and mom stood at the doorway wanting to find out what went wrong Mereka masih tak tahu lagi itu adalah gempa bumi. So, I got out of bed. Okay, gap text number 3. It was my first experience on uh, of an earthquake. Itu adalah pengalaman pertama saya uh, berkaitan dengan gempa bumi. So, number 3. Uh, we go here. Number A, we were shocked to see the damage done by the earthquake. Uh, B has been used. C, then I realized that was... Uh, that what was going on was an earthquake ok ketika itu baru mereka sedar bahawa itu adalah gempa bumi so the best answer for number 3 is T then I realised that what was going on was an earthquake so you can answer here number A uh, ok A and number 1 is B ok number 2 is F and number 3 should be uh, C ok so you have to complete number 4, 5 and 6 by your own ok lengkapkan sendiri Ok, lengkapkan sendiri. Cikgu hanya boleh terangkan sebab sedikit lah apa maksud kata-kataan ini eh. Ok, we go to the next uh, paragraph. Number 4, gapet text number 4. We had absolutely no idea who it could be. We opened the door and we were glad to see our neighbours Mr. Francis and Mr. Joshua. Ok, number 4. Mestilah uh, perkataan atau ayat yang menceritakan tentang somebody knock the door. Dan tiba-tiba ada Mr. Franz, Mr. Franz and Mr. Joshua. So, after Mr. Franz and Mr. Joshua showed up, 
we were all scrunched up under blank up under blankets, listening to our battery powered radio. As it come closer to dawn, we all went on a walk around our small old house to see the damage and cracks in the walls. Okay, ini menceritakan tentang uh, kerosakan yang berlaku akibat gempa bumi tersebut. Okay, for number five, so you should uh, you should identify what's the best sentence for gap text number five. Water dripped drop by drop onto the floor from the vase of uh, daffodils on the tables. All our photo frames were either damaged or cracked. In the end, we were lucky that the power had gone out because the heater was lying flat on the ground with the cord still connected connected and switched on. Okay, ini menceritakan tentang ada power cords, ada sumber power uh, apa? plug untuk air panas yang uh, jatuh di atas lantai. Okay, tetapi nasib baik uh, electricity telah pun terputus. Okay, so that, that day we found out more about the earthquake over the social media. I thank God that my family members and I and my neighbors were all safe. Okay, adapted from www.earthquakestories.government.nz di New Zealand. Okay, New Zealand. Berlaku di New Zealand. So, it's a true story. A true story that happens about earthquake. So, find out the best answer for number 4, number 5 and number 6. So that's all uh, for this week. So you should uh, for these classes for today. So you should answer question 37, 36 and 37 uh, before we go to the next question uh, for the next class. Okay, thank you.